woodpeckers. You have seen them in cartoons and you have seen them in documentaries. But do you know we have them in real life in Singapore? And also they keep hitting their head in the tree, not pain one meh. Let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now there's so many plants and animals. <laughs> Although the appearance of uh, Woody, uh, the woodpecker, is based off a North American Canadian species called the Pileated Woodpecker, we actually have a very similar looking bird here in Singapore to call our own. And this brightly coloured woodpecker is none other than the common flameback. Also known as Dinopium javanense, these woodpeckers are found from South to Southeast Asia and locally they are actually a fairly common bird found in our secondary forests, gardens, parks and mangroves. Also, they are one of the five remaining resident woodpeckers on our small little urban island. And with their distinctive red mohawk crest, these woodpeckers are very easy to identify here in Singapore. The common flameback is actually often found in their mating pairs, so one male and one female. And these birds are sexually dimorphic. So the ones with the vibrant red heads are actually the males, and the females, on the other hand, have a black mohawk with white spots instead. But don't worry, if these birds are too high up in the trees and you can't seem to find them, just listen out for their calls. Although there are birds that can mimic the calls of uh, other birds, which you know, maybe we will discuss in a future episode, when you hear that high-pitched trill, you're most probably in the presence of a common flameback or two. And if you keep really quiet, maybe you can hear the of their beaks pecking on trees. Now, woodpeckers, such as the common flameback, peck on trees for several reasons. And one of such purpose is because their diet consists mostly of tree-dwelling or wood-boring insects such as ants, beetles or insect larvae. And on top of that, these birds excavate holes on trees to make as nest cavities for them and their eggs. And if you observe them, you'll come to realise that they prefer to peck on trees with softer wood, be it for food or for nesting. And that is because they are generally easier to peck through. And these soft wood include dead or dying trees. And all this rapid knocking of their head on solid tree, not pain one ah. ah f it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Ah, damn pain. Well, for woodpeckers, they have actually evolved and adapted some incredible ways of protecting their head while they peck. First off, woodpeckers have a very specialised beak. Apart from being very sharp and sturdy so as to pierce through hard wood, these beaks are actually composed of three layers. The outermost layer is made out of keratin, like most birds, but for them it's structured in a zigzag formation that deflects some of the force during the packing. The soft, flexible middle layer then acts as a cushion, and because it is very porous, it disperses and spreads most of the concussive energy around to parts of the head that is not the brain. And those are places that can withstand greater amounts of force. And then finally, we have the regular hard bone innermost layer. But that isn't enough, because woodpeckers have a second safety measure in that of its hyoid bone. So that bone is just a fancy name for your tongue bone. But for them, it's not so simple. It doesn't just go down their throats. Their hyoid bone actually starts from their nostrils, then it goes between their eyes and wraps over and around their skulls, and then finally connecting to their mouths through their tongues. And apart from just giving strength to their tongues for eating, the hyoid bone is structured this way so that it can serve as some sort of seat belt for their brains and preventing neurological trauma. You know, and it really is such an elaborate and beautiful adaptation, just for some holes. Well, actually, if you zoom out, you'll see that these holes that they create are important for the wider ecosystem of wildlife. And that is because woodpeckers are what ecologists would call ecosystem engineers. Now, they are basically animals that create changes or modifications to a given environment. And these are crucial because these modifications would affect other species of wildlife. And for the woodpeckers, the many holes they create and then abandon serve as homes and refuge for many other species. This includes other cavity nesting birds that don't peck their own tree holes, and even for squirrels that need a place to hide from predators. And having enough tree cavities around for these animals to survive and safely reproduce greatly affects their population and of course affects forest dynamics. So all that head banging was very much worth it. 
Now that is all we have for today's episode. If you want to read into more details about the common flame bag or to learn more about the physiology of woodpeckers, I've got some interesting reads and links down below. Now don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all those fancy stuff and subscribe if you want to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out there. Okay, bye.